In this video, we're going to solve a story problem that involves a couple of rectangles. So let's uh, read through it carefully, which is always a good idea when you're starting a story problem. It says the perimeter of a rectangle is 38 meters. If the width were doubled and the length were increased by 19, the perimeter would be 88 meters. What are the length and width of the rectangle? So the important thing to notice here is that we do have two rectangles and drawing a picture can be helpful. So we've got the rectangle that we're starting with. So let's make that this one, okay? And let's see, what do we know about that rectangle? We know the perimeter is 38. That's all we know. So let's write that down just to jot down our information here. We know the perimeter is 38 meters, but we don't know anything else. We don't know what the length and width are. So let's call the width W and the length L. And we're going to solve this um, with two equations. So we can have two variables. And we really need two variables to solve this one. OK, let's look at our next rectangle. Let's see, how are we going to get our next rectangle? It says, if the width were doubled, which means the width of this rectangle, and the length were increased by 19. So we're going to take this first rectangle we have, and we're going to double the width. So I'll try to draw something close to scale. All right, the width is doubled. And the length is increased by 19. So we got to increase the length like that, okay? The perimeter of this rectangle would be 88. Okay, so we'll jot that down. The perimeter is 88 on this one. So now 88 meters. So now we got to fill in uh, the length and the width, and we want to use these variables to do it because the width of my bigger rectangle has a relationship with the width of my smaller rectangle. What is it? Well, it tells me right here. Though if the width were doubled. So if this width was doubled, I get this width. Well, what does double mean? Twice as big. That's right. So this width is 2w. When we say 2w, twice as wide as this one. So we're relating the width of this to the related uh, to the width of this because that's how it was given us given to us in the problem. Alright, what about the length? Let's see. It tells us the length increased by 19. Oops, didn't mean to cross that out. Let's let's do a better job. The length increased by 19. What does increased mean? That's right, added. So this length is L, meaning this length, increased by plus 19. Okay, so we've got our information all set up in our pictures. Now we can write our two equations. And hopefully you can kind of see where this is going. Um, we're going to get one equation from this first rectangle and another equation from the second rectangle. And we're going to use the formula for perimeter. Now perimeter just means to add up the sides. So this side's W over here. This side's L. And some of you already know the formula for perimeter, which is 2L plus 2W equals P. I'll write that down. P equals 2L plus 2W. And if you're not really sure where that comes from, you know, look at the picture here. P is the perimeter. And so you've got a width plus a width. That's your two widths plus your length plus your length is two lengths. So it's L plus W plus L plus W. Combining like terms, you get 2L plus 2W. So there's your formula. And we know the perimeter of this is 38, so we can say 38 equals 2L plus 2W. Now for this second rectangle, let's do a different color. Let's do that in blue. We're going to use the same formula. P equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. But now we got to use the length and the width of this rectangle. Okay, So it's 2 of this rectangle's length which is L plus 19. And it's 2 of this rectangle's width, which is 2W. Take a look at that, and if you need to pause it and let that soak in a little bit, that's, that's kind of a big step right there. The, so the perimeter of this rectangle is all these sides added up, or 2 lengths plus 2 widths. I mean, if you wanted to, I'll write this in green. If you wanted to do it a little differently and you wanted to find the perimeter of this, you could say it's L plus 19 plus L plus 19 plus 2W plus 2W and add up all the sides like that. 
and we know the perimeter is 88. So P, we put the 88 where the P is, and then we could uh, combine like terms. So we got 2L plus 38 when we add the 19s plus 4W. Well, look down here at this blue equation. If we put the 88 in for P here like we want to, and then distribute the 2, and then multiply 2 times 2W, we end up with the same thing. So, you know, if you don't remember the formula for perimeter, that's fine. You can just add up all the sides, and you'll get the same answer. Let's clean this uh, blue equation up just one more step by subtracting 38 from both sides. So we have uh, 50 equals 2L plus 4W. So now we've got two equations with two unknowns here, and we need to, um, we need to, get rid of that. We need to solve them by either elimination or substitution. Now I'm thinking elimination for this one because I see a 2L here and a 2L here. And so if we could make that one of them a negative 2L, then we could um, add them, the equations together and the L's will drop out really nice. So it doesn't matter. You just want to times one of these by a negative. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. So if I multiply this whole equation by a negative 1 and then I'm gonna write it down here underneath this equation I'll get uh, negative 38 equals negative 2 L minus 2 W and then I'm gonna add these equations together and I get uh, 12 equals 2 W I'm almost out of space here so therefore uh, W equals 6 Okay, let's go back and see what they asked for. What are the length and width of the rectangle? So they want the length and width of this rectangle right here. Well, we got the width. That's 6. So this width is 6. This width is 6. And there's a couple different ways to get the length. We could just uh, take our 38, which we know is all the way around, subtract off 6, subtract off 6. That would give us uh, 38, take away 12, would be uh, 26 and then divide that by 2 it would be 13. I'll show you a little more algebraic way to do it. Let's do that in green right here. We could take our equation 38 equals 2L plus 2W except instead of W we know that the width is 6 now so we can put a 6 there. So we get 38 equals 2L plus 12 subtract 12 which is kinda of what I was doing in my head uh, 26 equals 2L, divide both sides by 2, and uh, we get 13 equals L. Did I say 12 before? Damn, I think I might have said 12. That's maybe why you got to write things down, huh? Okay, so the length is 13, and you could double check it and make sure it adds up to 38. All right, 13 plus 6 is 19, and these add up to 19, so 19 plus 19 is 38. And that's the answer. So the answers are 13. Let's see, how can we write this out nice and officially over here? Um, L equals 13 meters. You always want to label your answer. W equals 6 meters. And you put a nice box around that for your instructor. There you go. And you could actually go and check these as well. If you put your L in here, that'd be 13 plus 19 is 32 for this side. And if I put um, a 6 for the W here, I get 12. <clears throat> so 32, 12, 32, and 12 should add up to be 88. But this is the answer because they asked for the length and width of the rectangle, which is this one. Hope that helps.